Faces Sims, and we are back with more of The Sims 4 Adventure 4th, which is our Strawberry Shortcake Legacy Challenge, and Hijikata's just getting abducted by aliens at the birthday party. I don't know if we saw that at the end of the last part or not, but here you go. So don't come back alien pregnant, because we ain't having any of that bullshit. We don't have enough room in this house. We didn't have room for twins. Um, all right, so our kids aged up. Yes, they did. And what did you age up personality-wise with? You are a slow learner. <laughs> you're a kindness ambassador and you're very career minded. This is not exactly the personality I saw for you. Um, and Edwin aged up being lovable and lazy and also a quick learner, which is pretty funny because he has the computer whiz aspiration and she has the athlete aspiration. Okay. So anyway, she's going to stay living here with Maeve and Hijikata when we take Edwin and we peace out. So let's go into cast and check everybody out. And then we'll see what I do with the house. So I posted pictures of Edwin on Twitter and I was like, what the hell should he do? Because I knew that he wasn't cut out for being our uh, Huckleberry Pie where we move and we do angling ace and we live on Sulani. And the only reason I also don't want to do that one right now Again, like I said, I wrote the challenge with Nat being the second one in mind just because I really wanted to do that. But I kind of already have a house where I'm living on Sulani kind of fishing. And I'm like, I, don't, I just did that. So I wanted to do something different. So and then I was like, you know what? We'll just move around and see who fits what. Um, so I was like, what do we do? He's got the computer whiz aspiration. Do we do stuff with computers? So he could be like a scientist. He could be the astronaut. He could be like whatever. And a lot of people said DJ, because I put that up there like he could be in the dink. So we're going to move him. He is going to be our lime chiffon. Um, so basically, we are going to move him to San Myshuno. We'll get him in like an apartment or a penthouse. Maybe like a penthouse so that we can build it up. Because that's what we I want to do. I want to build the houses as we go. So unless we move into a really big apartment and we knock down all the walls and then we just kind of build within that space. Um, you know what I mean? I kind of want to have an actual like house. Hmm. And you can't save apartments. You can only save them as rooms. So I'm not sure what I want to do with that. You know what I mean? I like being able to say it doesn't really matter so i'll figure that out we have an apartment that we get a big apartment knock down all the walls with no furniture and he has to start over with like nothing he'll have some money i'm not going to start totally with nothing um we're going to transfer some money in for him when we go uh but i'll have to figure out do i want to take half the money do i want him to start out like we started out with twenty thousand simoleons do i want him to start out with like 60 you know what i mean and like increase it do we want to start out with 40 and then we increase, you know what I mean? So we'll figure it out. But so for Lime Chiffon, Sam Maishuno in an apartment or penthouse, um, I have written down, I want to do either photography, DJing, uh, have the city native aspiration, which we can switch him to. I, would, I don't have to, but we could do that because that would help. And I was going to say work on the photography and the DJ skills. But what I would like for him to do, definitely with the DJing thing, because I think that'd be fun for him to go to the clubs and take over and do that kind of stuff. But also use the music mixing machine that we got with Get Famous, because that thing's fucking awesome. I'll have to turn on the game music again. I have it off because sometimes the loading music and then the game music and then the build. I mean, and it's like it all and nothing stops. And it's like, ah, it's like 17 tracks going at once. And it's insane. So. So we'll have to turn it back on so you can hear it. But it's so much fucking fun to just click the little buttons and do random things. And I think that would be fun for him to do. He could also do some photography with it. We'll see. Mm -hmm. So maybe he'll do all that. Um, the only thing is, it, technically Lime Chiffon had a pet parrot. We don't have birds, so we can't do that. But he's got to have a, we're going to get him a pet parfait. Parfait is the name of our pet. Um, I don't know what kind of a pet we'll get. Uh, if we're living in an apartment in the city, it might be easier to have a cat, to be honest. Uh, but he should technically have photographer's eye or whatever dance machine and be a perfectionist or a music lover. I kind of love that he is our la lazy and lovable, but we might have to change some of his traits. I want to keep him as lovable because I, I love that. But we might change some of his other things, the dance machine for the DJ thing and you know, maybe a music lover or something. So we might change some of his traits, but we should probably change hers because a slow learner is just so fucking sad. But anyway, here is our dear Ellery. We'll show you her first. 
Uh, so this is one of her everyday outfits. So again, she is just pretty casual. She's kind of all like no nonsense business. This is not, she's not as business as she was as a kid. Although I feel bad that she's a slow learner. Like I just really don't. I feel like we should change that. That's what she aged up. We need something that is like, um, not absent. My, I was thinking, do we have something that is, well, business savvy. She career minded business savvy would be kind of good for her. Um, what's the mastermind? Just know the right things to say. I feel like that would be her more than, you know what I mean? Like she's business savvy. She's kind of the mastermind. Like she's really good at like things. So let's give her that. Yeah. Although the kindness ambassador is kind of funny, but anyway, she is super fucking pretty, but here's the funniest thing. She looks a lot like Maeve. She does have Hijikata's eyes, but she's got a lot of Maeve in her. And Edwin, no fucking lie is like a clone of fucking Hijikata. And it's pretty funny. So anyway, here we go. So this is one of her everyday outfits. She's pretty casual laid back. She's not super like fancy or anything like that. Um, you know, she's a little more structured in her blazers and her boots and her jeans, but she's got her, you know, this is her other, like, you know, she's kind of going with that. She's not, she doesn't get super dressed up. I mean, this is like a business kind of outfit. It's more dressy. It's more presentable. Like I'm going for something, but we have an important day at school and I'm going to wear this. Um, but yeah, she's more all about the business. This is probably the cutest dress she has, like the most fun thing she has, but she's got to have some fun every once in a while. And her formal wear, um, you know, mm. not that was, she needs more accessories, but like whatever. <laughs> uh, and her athletic wear just, you know, and her PJs, <laughs> they have strawberries on them because of course <laughs> we're in the strawberry shortcake like it's, <laughs> anyway, that was me being funny. Um, her party wear, so I love this. It's super pretty. Bringing some of her dad's heritage in there, I guys. I don't know. Um, and her swimwear. I just left it because she kind of aged up with a different top. But like, I think these shorts, and I just changed the colors. I kind of liked it. I feel like yeah, she would be more like swim trunks, you know. Um, and then her hot weather outfit. We get, I gave her two of them. So this is a little more just comfortable, relaxed kind of outfit. Uh, and then. This one's a little more dressed up, but, you know, I like that color on her. And then one of her winter wear outfits. Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure fucking Maeve is wearing this exact, like, wearing that sweater, isn't she? Hold on a second. <laughs> She's wearing this. Like mother, like daughter. Oh, Maeve. You poor thing. Got into little chubby. Well, that's age. Oh, no, she didn't. I swear. Oh, you know what? Is she wearing it in one of her everyday outfits? I swear she was wearing the sweater. Maybe not. I must be. Oh, you know what? I'm crazy. Okay, never mind. I swore Maeve was wearing. It looks like a Maeve outfit. You know what it is? Like, actually, she does have a lot of hijikata in her, too. But she does still have a lot of Maeve. It's she, Her face is slightly different. But um, And then this is her other cold weather outfit. I fucking love these pants. Like, I just do. She looks good in fucking white pants. She is the type of person that can pull off crisp, bright white pants. And no matter what she does, that shit doesn't get dirty. Girl magic. I don't know. Um, I love this hair, and I feel like it's on the way too many of my Sims, like, lately. But anyway. Um, so, he also really does, with this outfit, look like he could be a fucking DJ. So, like... Ah. I'm just not surprised that people picked that for him, but, but he had the computer whiz thing. So I'm like, he could go into like robotics and do that. He could do science stuff, but you know, I mean, hold on. We didn't look closely at our dear face. So hold on. We kind of did look at her, but like she actually did age up pretty cute. And she really does look a lot like Maeve. She does have, there's something about her face. It's like you've got all of Mabe's features on like Hijikata's kind of face and his eyes. But like, yeah, she's super cute. Proud, proud Spacey that our daughter aged up beautiful because that never happens. They usually age up looking fucking ridiculous, but she aged up pretty. But I mean, not as pretty as fucking Edwin. Hello. He is goddamn amazing. Um, so this is his other and he's got a little bit of flair. 
He's going to be a DJ. Got to be. He's going to be in the city. He's got to like look the part. I really almost wanted to put a hat on him, but it doesn't work with this belt buckle, and I really like those pants. So, um. <laughs> Lime Chiffon, I'm pretty sure. Was she the one from, um... No, she wasn't the one from France, but... I, like, <laughs> that was, uh... Lime Chiffon was the ballerina. It'd be great if we had a ballet skill, but we don't. Um, but that's where the dancing comes from, but... Anyway, his formal outfit. That's <laughs> a pimp suit, and I love it. His athletic, because we just need this crop top in our life more than... Ever. Uh, we already saw his PJs because he was wearing them. Um, his party outfit, which I also love. I love the pink pants. Uh, his swimwear. Just simple. <gasps> just going straight up with the swimwear. One of his hot weather outfits. Okay, I, I, have to, I have a confession. His hot weather outfits both have this pair of pants, just different colors, because I couldn't choose between them when I did it. And I was like, fuck it. We're using the same pants. I don't even care. Fucking at me. Whatever. Um, they do clip a little bit with the fit, but I was like, I just couldn't. I didn't. None of my custom content worked with it, but um, and this is just a recolor of it. It This one I loved so much, and I hate the fact that it clips, but like, let's just fucking pretend. I wish the shirt would tuck in, but just shh. Ignore the clipping. There's just something about like just ignore the clipping. Seriously, just 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 you know what? It's gonna drive me crazy too. We're just gonna pretend it's not there because I love that outfit. But anyway, um. So then here's one of his hot weather outfits. Oh, I thought his hair was clipping too, but um, his hot weather, his cold weather. And then here's another one of them. Like look at how. And then just can we just look at this goddamn precious fucking face? He is fucking. Goddamn Hijikata. <laughs> like, I have a picture of them side by side on Twitter, and I was like, it's like they're like, they are ridiculous. I meant to actually go to every day. But like, they are like so fucking similar. It's not even funny. Like, the, I think Ellery might have gotten Hijikata's eyes like a little bit more than Edwin did. And I think Edwin might've gotten closer to Maeve's eyes, but everything about Edwin's face. No, he's actually like, it's just fucking, it's ridiculous. It's fucking like he got, he just got his color eyes, but like shape eyes, like Ellery's are a little, are shaped a little bit more like Hijikata, but the rest of her face is a little bit more Maeve. And then Edwin is all fucking hijikata, but his eyes are a little bit more like Maeve's shape, but then he's like the color. I love it. I actually love it because, and I love the fact that they kind of, so, I mean, yes, technically when he aged up, his eyes were black, but that's just because the game on kids won't put, kind of fucks up with my colors. But anyway, I love our fucking children. I'm very proud of both of them. Um, we might actually, like I said, change him. So that he has, um, like a dance machine or what does he have to have? Instead of lazy, I might, when he ages up, change him to like a dance machine or a music lover or something like that. Um, but I think we're going to leave the lovable one, but we'll see what happens anyway. So, oh, we already knew that, right? Cooking, gardening, painting, crafts, picnic, nature walks, watching movies, supporting their loved ones and their interests and activities. And she was like, yeah, the commander, which is perfect. Anyway, so I redid their bedroom. So thank you for coming in here, Maeve. I gave them both double beds because... Where is she? Girl, no, you do not. This is your bed. You do not sleep in your parents' bed. Like, I don't know why she thought that was acceptable. Claim. You can come over here and sleep in your own bed. I was like, where is she? So I gave them double beds because we could fit it. We didn't need to do anything else. So um, I kept some of the posters and everything and some of like the things that were already in here. I put the cat bed under here. The cat never uses it. So her side of the room over here is a little more like she's got her mirror and she's got like her pink stuff. But then she's got, you know, all of her stuff, whatever, like 
her board for school and a picture of the university she wants to go to, like, whatever. She's all business and stuff over here. And then his side of the room is all a little bit more musical kind of stuff. So he's got his band posters and, like, all that stuff like that. Um, and thank you. Oh, my God. Okay. And then his side, like, he's got his computer over here and, like, whatnot. And then, like, his guitar down there. The bathroom and everything is the same. I didn't change anything else in the house except for the... Um, I made this a little bit smaller because I wanted to get them a bar and it wasn't fitting anywhere. So I got rid of... I don't think I got rid of any of our plans. I might I don't know. I think I just smushed everything closer instead of having it spaced out. So I made that a little bit smaller. And then I made our kids a hidey hole up here, more like a little studio for Edwin so he can come out here and practice his music stuff. So, because I was going to put the music mixing machine in their bedroom and then I was like, Ellery wouldn't stand for that bullshit. So I put him out here. So he's got a DJ table to work with. He's got this out here. Um... This is just to cover up the fact that there's a hole in the fucking floor. <laughs> like, so it's just all stuff out there. So whatnot. So yeah, so we can go out and do that. And that's basically all that we did. We really did that. So when he moves out, um, we'll then go inside. Could you? Not you. You. Come inside. Go here. Get the fuck inside. What are you doing, Dorcas? Oh, my God. Also, why are you in your swimwear anyway? Change outfit. Let's just change you into your winter wear so that, and then go get something to eat. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so anyway, that was our birthday party. That's all we did in the house. And now we have all the time in the world until Maeve becomes an elder. And then he's an elder. And then the kid. How is he so much younger than her? She had children. Wait, is he going to turn into an elder and she's turning into a, an adult? No, she's going to be... How is she going to be an elder before him? She had two... F well, she, well, she was only pregnant once, but... She was fucking pregnant and she's that much older than him? All right, well, whatever. Anyway, um, so they'll never get to meet their grandkids. Like, just let's be real. Because, like... Did you not eat like I told you to what the fuck dude and then you've got to go to work too don't you you have work in eight fucking hours oh my god you are not gonna get any sleep and let's just make sure you're not alien pregnant because I'm not having any of that okay and then you need to come up here and sleep because you've got to go to work in eight hours so you really need to get some sleep in no leave the fucking cat alone just the cat's fine the cat is fine the cat needs to pee and then someone else can pet the fucking cat it's fine Who's the closest to waking up? It's Sunday. I'm going to have you wake up and then we'll have you come pet the cat. We'll have you take care of the kitty cat. Um, how old is Custard, to be honest? She is almost an elder. Okay, good. Oh, you're already up. Why don't you... Okay, go pee and then we'll have you pet cat. Pet the cat! Do you, do you, do you, pet to the cat? Um. Can Custard wake the fuck up? She's fine. Let's wake up. And let's have you pet. No. She's actually going to initiate. Get attention from Edwin. Good. Yeah, we need to give you attention. So let's pet the kitty. Let's uh, hug the cat. And let's give her another pet pets. <laughs> He's like, oh, Custard, you poor thing. Of course I'll give you petsies. Oh, we love you. Give her a little praise. Ah, uh, there we go. And then we will let you come down here and grab the omelet that your dad was going to eat. So we'll eat that. Um, put that away. Saw something today that reminded me of you. Sonnen is so fucking in love. If, okay, if Hijikata aged up and died first, I'm not even kidding. Maeve would have fucking married fucking Sonnen. Second husband. I'm just saying. Sonnen would have, like, moved in and been like, Uncle Sonnen's here to take care of the kids. Like, I don't care if, like, I'm your sexless. Like, I'm 
your mom's sexless husband. Like nothing would have, he would have just fucking moved right in and been like, I'll take care of everything. And it was like, he's so, I fucking love him. He's precious, but like, holy shit. Um, Oh, also, and, and you know what? I totally forgot. I totally for fucking forgot to tell you this all week long in case you don't follow me on Twitter, which you should. Hello. Now, in every single game we have, we have... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's Daryl. I was like, it's somebody. It's somebody recognizable because they don't look weird. They look like they're wearing normal clothes. Who's that? Angel Christie. Don't know you. Um, Magically, Waldo is running around in every single town. So now we can play Where's Waldo while we do this so look out for waldo in the background you'll know him by his customary red striped sweater That's all i'm saying waldo exists in the world in every single game save every single one and i forgot to tell you guys that every time this week but he didn't show up in any of them so it's fine are you gonna do your homework are you stuck over there oh shit you are you can't go here can you Shit. God damn it. I guess. All right. Can you... Okay, hold on. I'm going to have you sit. All right. So we're going to have to move that mirror because he can't get around it. Let's build... Let's see if we can slide it into our bed because you really only need apparently one tile on the bed to be able to sleep, which is fucking bizarre. Whoa. Okay. Let's see if we can just kind of put this closer into the bed. Or maybe what we can do is kind of angle it this way. All right. You know what? Let's just get a mirror. You know what? Fuck it. Forget it. I just... Uh, whatever. I don't feel like dealing with it. Um, so now he can get around it. This is also your computer. I wish I could assign. Why can't I click this? Why can't I click it? Oh, there it goes. It's taking forever. Okay. Hold on. Computer security settings. Lock computer for everyone but Edwin. And then you. Computer security settings. Lock computer for everyone but Ellery. Who's calling you? We'd love to have you join Hakuoki. Hey, you don't get to ask. Hijikata's gonna bitch you out. You do not get to ask my wife to join my club, Sonnen. That's not how it works. Edwin can join the club. Maybe Ellery too. But no. Do we have enough um, points to even add uh, club details? Let's see. Um, well, that's broken. Okay, there we go. Do we have enough perk point? Why are you... Okay, my Sims have weird routing issues. Do we have enough room for an extra member? We need 500 points. Okay, so we don't have enough. But we can add our son to our club. It's a boys club. He has a better relationship with Ellery than he does Edwin, but we're going to add Edwin to the club because. And we're going to have to get more club points. Thanks, Sonnen. Sonnen is like so up our family's ass. It's not even fun. I love Sonnen to death. But like we can't marry all the Hakuoki boys into our like, what are you doing for homework? You're just doing your homework. Can you stop doing that for a second? I actually want you to do music theory let's do guitar that would be better and i need you to super sell everything and then i need you to tend the garden i need him to get the guitar skill and all those things like that so hold on a second you for work need to reach level 10 and you need to sell the honey Bond with bees, and then we need to make an arrangement. Let's go to all, and let's get the... Oh, is that Edwin? I was like, who the hell is that? Skill level five. Let's do this one. Where are you? You're dazed. Why would you take drugs, child? God damn it, kid. Anyway, go get some hygiene. I was going to have, let's see, what do you need to do? I'm not too concerned about her. It's going to be easy at this point. Cause like she can kind of do whatever that she wants to do. And 
And we'll mark them as unplayed so then they don't age once we move out. So they'll be elders. And our sister will be a young adult with us. But then when he ages up, I think we'll have... I mean, at some point, we probably need to have Maeve and Hyuji Hara die. Because it'll be weird when we're like in 10th generation and every single sim in our family before us is just old. But like, I'm fine with that. Because then... But, like, I will, like, in Edwin's case, Edwin, when he ages up to an adult, we'll have Ellery over, and she'll age up, too. And then when he ages up to an elder, we'll age her up, and then, you know, whatever. Oh, Ellery's already completed a milestone in her aspiration. That's lovely. Can we actually... Do we have a musical one? Um... I don't want to do the location one right now, but let's see. It would probably be under creative, right? Musical genius. What's this? Practice music. Listen to music. Does this actually count? It will like license songs actually work if you do the other thing. Let's just switch them to this for right now. I don't know if it's going to work if he's practicing up here. And I don't want him to be honest to practice this because I don't have this turned on. Actually, we could turn on this. Let's have him work on this. What's control panel? Set volume. Medium. Okay. We don't want to do it as a stereo. Practice. Let's have him come over here and practice. Since he's in a good mood, we need to kind of work on that skill so he can go and... Do some mad rhyme. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything about DJing. I was trying to like be as like ridiculous as possible, but supercell and then also tend garden. You're at work. Oh fuck, we didn't do anything about you. And you, yeah. So you want to prepare for work, make coffee, go to work, socialize with Alex. Who is Alex? <laughs> Why do these always say that? I think we want to change your aspiration because I don't know what any of these sporties call it. Creative deviance family. Um, I want. Huh. I don't want to do... I always do, like, nerd brain, and I never do it. Renaissance Sim... No, I need her to be... We need more aspirations. It's fucking killing me. They're terrible. Well, we could do... That's kind of boring. Mansion Baron's kind of boring, too. Location, city, native, Strangerville, mystery, love, nature, popularity. I need her to be... I want something that we can do. I guess we'll just go to knowledge and then just... Well, he was computer was though. Nerd brain, I guess, maybe? I don't know. Forget it. I just, I don't know what to do. Like, I was trying to give her something so we could give her something to do. But, like, we never played with the fucking puppet theater. We never fucking played with it. Like, disappointed in us. So let's come over here. Can we... Is now a DJ. He can continue to practice spinning and gain skills. He's now a DJ. Well, there we go. We completed it. Um, I was like, how do we get money? Oh, she was over here tending her plants. They really, they look like they need to be watered. But okay, I guess that's just me. Can we sell that? Um, Take a cutting and then I'll come over here and I'll, what's this plant? A holly bush and we'll graft it with the daisy and we'll see what happens. Uh, graft. I mean, uh, and then let's come over here and make an arrangement. She's uncomfortable because of the bees. Okay, we're not. Um, let's just come back down here and we'll do these white orchids. 
Who's calling you? Want to make plans? Okay. Like, but like, you're not actually going to invite me out. You're just like asking me if I want to make plans. Like, hmm. I mean, at least he's met some people. I mean, we can like, maybe we should travel and like, This does count as practicing music, I guess. I'm wondering if we should just give him the city native aspiration now. You know what I mean? He can start on it and then they can go to the city and do stuff. Because it's going to take a while to do it. So, like, should we do that? What's the location? I mean, that's what he's going to end up doing. And it's not that it matters. Introduce yourself in three different neighborhoods. Give an apartment key, which we can't do because we don't have an apartment. Order food from stalls we can do. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we might as well just... I'm just going to have him change to that one since that's the one we're going to do. Um, because I was just thinking we can have him travel. Let's take Elric with us because he wants to make plans. And I don't know why Santa was dressed up like Llama Man. But... Who's that? Who are you? Wait, I know you, don't I? Didn't I make you? Maybe. It's Owen Akamura. I did make you. Oh, Owen. <laughs> <coughs> I'm choking to death. <laughs> Why are you going for a swim? You can't go for a swim while you're traveling. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. So let's go. We do have to finish Maeve's stuff. Oh my god, look at all the fun shit. We're going to go to the city. Which is going to be ugly as fuck because we didn't change any of this shit. Oh well, we did actually. And we still have Planet Honey Pop. It's just newly renovated. Sing my song. We got a nightclub. We've got an art gallery. We've got a park. We've got a health spa. We've got a lounge. We need to have something else, like an arcade or a bowling alley or something here. Because we've got two karaoke bars, a park, a spa. I mean, I guess... We don't have to go into the city. Because, like, we don't... Well, maybe we'll go to the Planet Honey Pop. Let's go to the new Planet Honey Pop. I was like, these are going to be boring. No, they're not. I changed everything in here. Except for, like, the apartments and shit. Because it's like, that's too much of a pain in my fucking ass. To go in and, like, renovate the apartments. That would actually be, like, a fun thing to do when I'm really fucking bored. Just go in and knock down walls and redo all the apartments. Except for the one, I'm going to redo it. And I'm going to take all of Ad's apartment stuff from when I did... The City Living LP. And uh, when I did my Shuno memoirs with Virtually and Safiz. And I'm going to put all of Ad's freaking stuff in that apartment. Because that apartment was freaking cute as shit. I do say it's all myself. Ad's apartment was fabulous. Um, and I did save all the rooms. Because I liked it so much. So, I'm not saying Elric is going to be his future boyfriend, okay? I'm just saying Elric is the only teenager in the game, and he asked us to hang out, so we should just go hang out with him and see who we can meet. Um, so, like... Yeah, the sunny. Huh. <gasps> Look, it's Kazuma! Let's go introduce ourselves. Friendly introduction. Elric's like, what the fuck? And Futaba's over here! And wait, is that... Oh, that's Casper, okay. He's just a random sim. He's not anybody, like, in particular. Cosmo doesn't seem... He's angry. Why is he angry? Does he hate us? Does he hate us already? Try to calm him down. I think he's probably angry at the, uh... At the protesters. Work harder! Well drugged. Edwin has taken a trippy pill. You know what? I'm not... I don't blame him. I actually think him taking trippy pills is pretty funny. And now he's protesting? What, girl? What are you protesting? You don't even know. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so we introduced ourselves to someone in the neighborhood, and I don't know where. Uh... So what's going on over here? 
So this is cute because it's like outdoors. Um. Oh, there's a downstairs. Oh, I forgot about this. I know I've been here before with other Sims and other world, like whatever. But like, I totally forgot. Like, this is fucking cute. <laughs> like how it's too big to fit on the wall, so it like sticks over. Um. I think Elric left us. No, Elric's over here. Oh, he's over here doing karaoke. So can we watch? Oh, no, he's done. Can we sing a duet? Let's do a country duet. What? Why can't we sing a duet with Elric? Talk about the windy weather. Why can't we sing a duet with him? Get to know. Um, tell a joke about Martians. I don't know why we can sing a duet. Why can't we sing a duet with... Can we not sing a duet with him? Like, more choices. Whoops. Whoops. I'm going to go friendly. Uh, ask about day. Way Like, I'm not kidding. I'm looking for a fucking... The tab is still down here playing. Wait, wait. Is that Tokia? I think that's Tokia. Yes, it is. Wait. And that's Sukuya. Sukuya from Hatafo Boyfriend. And Tokia from Uchipri. <laughs> Tokia usually dresses in pretty dresses. Wait, is that Sasazuka? It looks like him. Why can't we see? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. All right, I'm like 90, but it's like not telling me. Like, why can't we like... Anyway, it's Sasazuga, so. And Elric is like, peace out. Okay, can we sing a duet with... Who can we sing a duet with? We can sing a duet with Sasazuga! <laughs> Bitch, yes, we're doing it! <laughs> Come to Keru, sing with me, my dear. <laughs> come, come. We can't sing with Elric. I don't know why. Look, he's like, girl, hurry the fuck up. <laughs> yes! Are we going to sing a love song? Hey! Wow. I don't know the words. <laughs> Sasuzuka should not have a deep voice like that. It's so bizarre. He <laughs> literally sounds like Johnny Cash, but he shouldn't have a voice like that. It's so funny. <laughs> oh my god, this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. Is he even... We're singing with him, but we're not even... We never technically met him, so like... Friendly, friendly introduction. Like, hey, thanks for singing with me, random stranger that I've never met before, but... Hi, thanks! It's like they just like got... Paired. Get to know. Uh, tell an unbelievable story. He's a computer whiz. Of course he fucking is. I mean, I made him. I should know these things, but I don't. Did Elric just leave us? I think Elric just left. Um, let's come down here and order food. Let's get sweet and sour. Ooh, maple tofu with pork. That sounds delicious. I'm not a tofu person, but. We gotta make friends with as many people as possible because they're gonna hate me as soon as we go and place with a club with our. Because we. Hakuoki has a bad reputation and we're part of this club now. So, like, the fuck? Nailed it! From singing karaoke poorly. Some people just don't understand raw talent when they see it. 
fucking love him. Nailed it! I'm fucking awesome! No, no, you're not, Sweet Cheeks. Um, I'm fine leaving him as lazy, but I think when he ages up to a young adult, we'll change his traits. I, I Like I said, I want to leave... We can either do... Like, a natural-born performer would actually be good, to be honest with you. Um, natural performer we are going to use in the master actor when we... One of the other ones, but... We could do Dance Machine, Music Lover. It, I, if we're going to go down more of the DJ and whatever, then we don't You need the photographer's eye. But Dance Machine, Music Lover, Perfectionist can be yeah, any of those two. Um, are you going to order food? Because it's getting late, so you need to eat, and we might as well. Right. Thank you. Eat your food. Look at that. We ordered stuff. It's fine. Carry on to carry on to karaoke contest night. Oh, hey, it's Sonnen! I didn't even realize that. I should have known he was here. Get to know. Sonnen sucks with chopsticks. Discuss flute food flavors. Discuss food flavors. What kind of food do you have? Sweet and sour eggplant. We almost got that. Enthuse about interests. Hello, Sakuya. We should meet you. You know, it'd be funnier when we're here and like, bam. Oh my God, look, it's Waldo. No, he's not here. I keep looking for him though. Don't get me wrong. Like one day he will pop up and then we will just never not see him. So it's karaoke contest night. Um, It's funny. This is a karaoke bar, but there's only literally one karaoke thing. Oh, maybe there's one upstairs. Oh, there's a couple of karaoke rooms up here. Okay. Oh, that's Landry. Okay. Let's come over here and sing in karaoke contest. Let's do fun tonight. Edwin has taken his first steps in the culinary journey. Let's see if we can try to eat all the recipes. That'd be kind of interesting. Um, I don't know if that's one of the uh, things. Um, master the singing skill. No, live in an apartment worth a hundred thousand. We'll definitely be able to do that because I'm pretty sure a penthouse counts. But again, like I said, I don't know if I want to do like a penthouse where I can just build the full thing or go and get one of the bigger apartments and then kind of like have to be structured and force myself to tweak it. You know what I mean? He's not going to win, so we're not even going to listen to him sing because it's going to be terrible. Level two, I mean, that's not... We are terrible, but... Owen's like, fuck you, you suck! Rude, Owen, you're not even supposed to be out! You're supposed to be trapped in your little room of a house, painting! And painting and painting and you're never allowed out i just doing the room challenge with owen and like 24 out of 100 yeah we are not gonna win so it's it's not like it okay if sasasuka doesn't win i mean he's really fucking good do you hear him oh god there's an upstairs upstairs wow i mean like listen to him She's not bad either. Sasuzuka, I knew he was gonna win. Go, girl. Oh my god. All right, we can go home. She's not bad either. When I heard him, I was like, oh my god, he's good. Like, I did not know Sasuzuka could sing because I didn't give him that talent. But apparently, he has been busy in the game. Obviously, it's just random, but it's pretty funny. I like it. I like it that the game decides to let my preciouses, like, do things like sing and win contests, um, on their own. He's like, I'm gonna move to the city someday and I'm gonna be a fucking mad rocking DJ. It just, <laughs> it just sounds like if your kid was like, I'm gonna be an awesome DJ, you'd be like, oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's even funnier if he moves into, like, this grand, like, fabulous, 
like not even a penthouse, but like, or I mean, it could be one of the penthouses and we could just demolish the inside and just leave the outside structure structure. But, um, I'm thinking maybe we actually do one of the apartments and do that. Cause there's a ton of like cool, fancy or nice apartments that I've never lived in. Um, and we can just unfurnish, knock down the walls and then have to kind of like figure it out ourselves. It does kind of suck because you don't get the... I get to build. You're not really building, but... I mean... All right, it's 12 a.m. on Monday morning. You need to go to... No, girlfriend, go to bed. Like, you need to go to bed. No, 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 no. Okay, you need to... This is your bed, so I'm going to claim this, and then you're going to sleep. <laughs> you're taking a selfie. Of course you are. You need to go pee. And then you also need to sleep. What are you doing? You're swimming. You're actually fine, but you should probably, everyone should probably go to sleep. And then we will, she's dancing in the mirror. It's so weird. Anyway, um, I am going to wrap this up here. Um, nobody's going to age up. The lottery's tomorrow. I just, we can't even, that will win the lottery and we have 600,000 Samoa, like watch because I don't need the fucking money. Um, I really don't. And, like, Edwin's not supposed to take them. He's going to take some money. So, again, I'm not sure if I'm just going to, like, double it and be like, okay, he starts out with 40. You know what I mean? And I just don't want him to start out with 20,000. He needs to start out with a little bit more. But I don't want him to have tons of money. I mean, we could also, you know, he could get a money tree, too, and he could work toward that. But at any rate, what are you doing? Okay, you're going to go to bed. Good. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this part up here. I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.